oh gosh, Chinese spy balloon. So Chinese spy balloon was traveling over the U.S. There was a bunch of big arguments about it. Biden finally said, okay, shoot it down. Military said, wait, let's wait to shoot it down over water because we don't want it falling on people. So they did shoot it down. So here's just a little news report clip of the odd Chinese spy balloon. Woo! The Pentagon says American fighter jets shot down the Chinese spy balloon just off the Carolina coast on Saturday. Shortly after, President Biden said he ordered the move against the balloon as its cross-country flight over much of the U.S. widened a growing rift between the U.S. and China. They successfully took it down, and I want to compliment our aviators who did it. I sure. told them to shoot it down. On oh, Wednesday. On Wednesday. The recommendation they said it. to me, let's wait till the safest place to do it. Two Navy ships, including one equipped with a heavy crane for payload recovery efforts, are in the vicinity. In a statement, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said the U.S. Northern Command brought down the surveillance balloon over the water off the coast of South Carolina in U.S. airspace. Earlier this week, it was spotted over Montana, home to sensitive military sites, then Missouri, and continued to head east to the Carolinas. The balloon incident prompted Secretary of State Antony Blinken to postpone his planned visit to Beijing this weekend. So, fun stuff with that. So, why the Chinese have a spy balloon going over our military base is probably not good. Um... <laughs> You know, I, I don't know what their deal is. Well, thank you for that, Duncan. I know that was that was a sound analytical. Uh... That was some some really high class analysis. <laughs> I see that all of your time in the political science department has really served you well. It's paid off. Well, the thing about it is, is I don't know why China would want to go to war with us. Uh, we're their biggest customer. Their economy would collapse without us, and vice versa. Where are we going to buy all of our stuff? <laughs> I was going to say, if, if the American people can't consume products made by the Chinese, whatever will we do? I don't know. The world would collapse. Uh, so I don't know. If we might have less plastic in our landfills. Yeah. I don't know if they're just rattling the saber or whatever. They're just testing us or, or messing with us or whatever. But they sometimes like to do that for negotiating purposes. Right. Um, the other thing that's interesting about this at all the... I'll bring this back real quick. So the the spy the Chinese spy balloon. This is not the first one. This is uh actually let's see if we can get this here. So Chinese balloons flew over the U.S. three times during Trump's administration. So three times over Trump. This is the second one under Biden. There was one before this. Um, this is the one he I guess he became really aware of, and shot it down. And the Chinese government. Those are the People's Republic of China. Uh, basically, what was their statement? Um, they had a stupid statement here. Da, 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 da. They basically said it was a, oh, uh, they said it was a weather balloon. <laughs> what? And why is it going no. over, why is it going over our military facilities? And then also, what was it, blew off course? Yeah, right. They care very much about the weather patterns in the U.S. military. Right. You're going to love this. So they they asked Trump about this because there were three of them under Trump. Uh, defense officials pointed out. And then Trump's response was, the Chinese balloon situation is a disgrace, just like the Afghanistan horror show and everything else surrounding the grossly incompetent Biden administration. Um, and then he said, uh, they're only good at cheating in elections and disinformation. And now they are putting out that a balloon was put up by China during, or I'm sorry, China during the Trump administration in order to take the heat off the slow moving Biden fools. China had too much respect for Trump <laughs> for this to have happened and it never did. Just fake information, disinformation. <laughs> you know, it scares me you do a pretty decent Trump. It's complete with weird lip pooching. You gotta do you gotta do the hands. <laughs> Right. Just sort of flailing parallel hands. Yeah. I don't know he's playing the accordion or something. Anyway, so what's funny to me about this whole thing, since we're finance people, we have to think about this financially. How much is a, a spy balloon? I mean, you're talking about World War I technology here. And a weather balloon from the 60s, basically. 
with maybe some cameras on it. <laughs> hey. Apparently it was about the length of like three school buses and to end the diameter, not the, uh, the diameter. And um, it was big, but it's like, still, you're talking about basically a weather balloon. So it can't have cost that much money. Right. But because <laughs> we're the United States and Biden's got his cool aviator Ray-Bans on. <laughs> What did we shoot it down with? <laughs> we shut it down with an F-22 Raptor. <laughs> it's the most expensive fighter jet ever built in the history of mankind. <laughs> this thing has wow. vector jets on it and they shot it down with a missile. It's a freaking balloon. You could have shot it down with guns, <laughs> but no, we had to use a missile. Right. Take that, weather balloon. Take that. <laughs> Rain on our military base, why don't you? Yeah. <laughs> really, at this point, I, I like it because it's it's very American. It's it's a total dick measuring contest at that point. Because what do we do? It was... It's like the equivalent. It's like the equivalent to um, the the you know old crappy little pickup that has the huge lift kit to make it like <laughs> you know ginormously tall that like most people can't even hardly get in without a step ladder yeah kind of like that well no, no just so just to give you so the f-22 raptor uh just by itself they're 100 almost 150 million dollars a piece per plane okay if you add in what it costs to do the r d and the design it was they're about three hundred and thirty-four million dollars a piece, right? My goodness! On top of that, just to do one flight in that plane with fuel and everything, cost about seventy thousand dollars. <laughs> that's that's takeoff, loiter time, and landing. That's one flight, seventy grand. Just an just in a gap. flight meal better be phenomenal for <laughs> seventy grand. I mean. I can't even imagine what I would expect that them to be serving me for that kind of money. Well, plus you got to factor in training of the pilot. You got to factor in, you know, we have to do all the radar and I don't even know if we still use AWACS or whatever it is, but yeah, you have to factor all that in and targeting, right? Because a lot of, they're not targeting the balloon from the plane, they're targeting it from other satellites and other planes, right? I mean, those are fire and forget weapons, most of them. So all that, so incredibly expensive. So China sends out this shitty weather balloon with cameras on it. And we throw out hundreds of millions of dollars worth of American equipment just to gun it down. You got to be the pilot and they're sitting there thinking, that is, is a stupid mission. <laughs> I mean... Could have just gone after that thing with a BB gun and called it a day. I spent how long in flight school for this shit? <laughs> we could have shot it down with a surface-to-air missile. Fuck. <laughs> so. Wow. Okay. No, it cracks me up. It's the, um, reminds me, what was the, uh, it was a long time ago, but they did the, the home run derby. Are you familiar with baseball? So in baseball, they do this, they get the best, some of the best hitters in Major League Baseball, and they do what's called the Home Run Derby. And a lot of times they'll do it at like Fenway or something like that. And they'll get, you know, pitches and they have to, they get so many strikes and balls, but it's how many home runs can they hit? Mm. And they're lobbing the ball in. It's not like they're trying to screw them up. But um, they did this one year. <laughs> I'm like, this is just, this is just an example of America and how freaking decadent of a culture we are one year they did it where they hosted the home run derby and it was on a u.s aircraft carrier so, so all these major league big time hitters are on a u.s aircraft carrier and they had a batting cage set up in the aircraft carrier right and the batting cage was inflatable it's an inflatable batting cage and you're sitting there thinking, why do you have an inflatable cage on one of the largest boats ever built? <laughs> do you think that thing is really going to sink a U.S. aircraft carrier? 
And then you think, okay, they're just going to hit the balls into the ocean. Oh, well, right? And the balls will just sink. Oh, oh, no, no. They had a bunch of guys on jet skis with guys on the back with baseball gloves to catch the balls. <laughs> Talk about... <laughs> stuff up you can't it's the amount of time and money and expenditure for this. they've got cameras all over the place they've got helicopters flying over filming this i mean you're sitting there thinking the amount of time and money and expenditure that went into this yeah fuck the romans <laughs> <laughs> they got nothing on us man <laughs> right that's what this reminds me of you go to the most expensive advanced the most expensive and advanced fighter jet ever built by mankind to shoot down a fucking weather balloon. <laughs> I mean. All right. It's like your dad popping your birthday balloons with his AR-15. It's just, it's like, it's just <laughs> ridiculous. Right. Oh, man. So... Like using a machine gun to shoot at squirrels in the backyard or something. It's just <laughs> like, what are you doing? I was almost tempted to go get like a little balloon just to give you an example of how ridiculous this is. Oh, 